Hello, 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 and welcome to Sugar Hill Art Studio. I'm Amy Murray, and I'm here today for Art Snacks. It's actually the start of Live Vibe. That's hard to say. Live Vibe Week. <laughs> Which just means, actually, the next two weeks, the next two weeks at Sugar Hill are jam-packed full. And um, on the feature tab, you will see this calendar with all of the lives that I have going on. Plus, we have the journal workshop that is for sale right now. It's limited time only. It will only happen these three days. If you can't make the live, that's okay. You just come and watch. You have replays available to you. And the opening of two, not just Sugar Hill Circle, but another Art Snacks Art Journaling Membership. So we have both of those happening and it's Live Vibe Week. So I'm going to be live a lot. We've got a lot going on. And today we're painting sunflowers. We are, we are. And I don't trust myself today. Um, I don't trust myself today so hello hello to all of you that are on thank you for being here thank you for sprinkling the love and doing the things all the things we i'm gonna flip you down and we are gonna dive right in because the best thing about art snacks hello hello oh i'm getting comments that's so exciting hi gary um the best thing about art snacks is we keep it under a half an hour and you can do this my friends you can paint a fun abstract dish just fun wonky let's call it wonky sunflower today okay get your colors out i'm using acrylic paints i'm in my old one of my older square journals that we did at the beginning of the year i'm gonna turn you down and we are gonna just get started all right I'll flip you over so you can see right side up And I'm going to zoom you in a tad bit. Oop, oop, oop. That was a little much. All right. So here we go. Let me make sure we're all good. All right. So I already have, uh, you could use black. I use Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray seems to be kind of my um, backup color that I tend to always have. I have some Filbert brushes here. And let's get some paint going. So I'm going to use, I just have this old, very thick, it's palette paper. Um, I'm just going to put some color on here. So we're going to go with that yellow. And I'm going to put a primary yellow also. All right. I've got my white. I'm not going to worry about my green quite yet. We're going to do some purple. I know this palette might stress some of you out. There's things everywhere, but you can see that I kind of keep my colors in the same, <laughs> same glitch. All right, we've got like a bluish green we might throw in there. We've got some purple. We've got yellow. Um, I'm going to focus a lot on yellows and oranges. I just grabbed whatever colors. I might not be able to get this. You can tell. Oh, I don't use these all that often, although I I do like the um, <clears throat> Diana Wakely mixed media arts. You know, they're kind of, those paints are kind of perfect for, for this. I do like uh, color mixing with acrylics. You can use your craft paints. You can use markers, combo markers, crayons. You guys know the deal. All right, <clears throat> so let's just start. Let's just start. I'm gonna start with an outside circle. Okay, and let's, I'm gonna just kind of grab a little bit of my yellow ochre with a tad of that primary yellow. And I am just going to, you can see I'm kind of working off of what I have here. All right, so kind of a wonky circle. And the reason I put some of the primary yellow in there is just to kind of give it a little bit of a boost. It's gonna have, I'm working in my journal here, so I don't need it exact. Okay, there's that. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paint, get rid of some of that paint on my under paper. Next up, let's pick another color. And I love the way purple always works. 
next to yellow. Look at that. So you're just grabbing another color and you're coming in. This is there. I don't want it so perfectly circle. I have to work at not keeping it too perfectly circle. <laughs> so we've got some chunks in there. I like it. Um, I'll take some of that off. And again, I'm going to kind of just dot, dot, dot down on my under paper. I'm not even worried too much about keeping it too clean. All right, now we're going to go into kind of this orangey. Yep. And see how translucent that orange is? So I can take some white. I'm going to use my fluid acrylic because it's right here and easy to get at. But you just need the littlest bit of white into typically yellows, oranges, and sometimes even reds can tend to be more translucent than you want them to be. So if you need them to be a little bit more opaque, you just add a little bit of white to it. Okay. So I'll just add a bit. And again, same thing. I'm gonna kinda, ooh, that's a pretty color. Because it picked up some of that purple. It's a gorgeous color, actually. All right, let's go to a smaller brush. We gotta, I gotta change size a little bit here and get some things moving. Let's, 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 let's go with this bright and just have a pale, pale pink. Almost looks white. Super fast. And... And let's do the teeniest. Might have, I have a little water hanging out on that brush there. You could use your Posca paint pens here too, if you so wanted to. And. On my center, I think we're gonna come in with the big. Now you use, <laughs> use whatever brush, you know, you're comfortable with. I kind of tend to just grab whatever. There, liking it. All right, now we get to paint some stems in. And these are gonna be kind of the same uh, same idea where I am going to just do some in this lighter color. So I'm not even thinking about it because that's what journals are about, right? This isn't a final. Final piece, although sometimes I tell you. Some of your pieces from your art journal can be some of your favorites. So don't be afraid to take pictures. Don't be afraid to take pictures. All right, so we're just gonna kind of come in. With some more. Do you see how just kind of throwing that down doesn't matter doesn't matter and we're gonna pick up some orange and mix that orange so what I did is I started with the light and then mixed in some of the yellow ochre and then I grabbed some of the orange and put it on top of the yellow ochre never have I washed a brush right I haven't done any of that here and we're going to come back over. Kind of that. And we're going to kind of start to play. I picked up some of that purple. And it's looking pretty cool. 
Let's grab a little bit more of the lemon yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. How we do? I do not have my watch on. So I have no idea how we're gonna do on time today, but I think we're gonna be just fine. This is a fun, quick part. The actually, the quicker you work with this one, the almost the better off you are. Quite honestly. All right, we're gonna I'm gonna wet that down a little bit. We're going to come in, just need to make some of these a little bit more. Oops. I'm going to put a bit of yellow in some of these spots. There we go. All right. We need that to dry and we need some green. I'm going to use this bit in the background just to start I might end up with my pen almost like a folky art kind of feel kind of vibe here I love it we're going to kind of bring, let's kind of bring that down there. And remember, don't be afraid to let things go off the page and pay attention to where they, your composition, art journals are a great place to start working on your composition. Okay. So if I've got things coming off here and on the bottom, you know, I might want another spot where I have things kind of coming off. And we'll see. Okay. Let me just hit this with a dryer quick. While I'm drying this, I am just grabbing a few pasta pens. Not too many. I have a tendency to get too many. So we're going to get some. There we go. Pop these out. And now is where you start have having fun. Get in there. Have some fun. Don't worry about things making sense. Do worry about sticking your Posca pen in wet paint. <laughs> I do it all the time. some because I love my heart shape maybe we'll throw some of that in there I don't want them all but I want some Around. Let me see. Straight up yellow. Just 
just something. This is probably a little bit different than anything that you've done before. That's my point. I want to get in here and show you guys some things that may be different. Not sure I can get my ink to flow today in time. So we'll just use a micron. And it's still wet, but maybe a bunch of dots kind of representative of the inside of a sunflower, right? But a little bit different. Get comments in a second. So if you have any questions, if you have any questions about the journal workshop, about the membership opening, you should have received, if you're on the wait list, you should have received another email um, this morning. So that's a two total. If you're joining in, you will receive those um, on the wait list. Kind of learn a little bit more. I'm kind of just doing this quick. Um, and the journal workshop, super excited about that. This is one of those journals that everybody loves to make. You should love to make it. Um, let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. And maybe a little, little balls at the end. Just have fun. Just have fun. This is still a little wet, but I definitely would throw in some of that. And how about some swirlies? All right, to break up that background. Let's kind of have one in here. Here. Maybe some little star scribbles. All right. There we go. So many things you can do. Let me see what I have here. Got the gold. Of course I've got the gold. I love the gold. Can't help it. There we go. Bam. Just like that, you have kind of a different, whimsical, fun, freeing, I think I want because I can't help myself. Love it. Love it. So there you have it. How'd we do? It's always a surprise when time pumps up. See? Super fast. Super fast. Let's zoom out. You do not need to be that close to me. <laughs> Come on. Maybe. All right. Anybody have any questions? Yes. Art snacks, art snacks, art snacks. I will highlight this video and put it in, but do you see? Super fun. There's a little reflection on there. It may end up just looking at it here. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. We're just gonna add in a few. I 
I added just a few gold highlights there. There. Now I feel like it's balanced. There you guys go. Super fast, super easy, fun, different sunflower to throw in your journals. It didn't take long. You could totally do it in under 15 minutes if you needed to. If you could take a half an hour every day to do your art journaling, that's really going to benefit you. That is 30 minutes a day that you are taking out and you are setting aside time for you. Have fun, enjoy it, and I will see you never on a Wednesday because that's kind of a crazy day, but Thursday I will be back here at 1230 live again with another journal, journal insider peek. All right. So if you have any questions or anything, go ahead, sign up, get on the wait list, sign up for the journal class. These are super fun. You guys know these. Has everybody seen these? Love these journals. Like absolutely love these journals. I'm going to show you how to make them. These are all actually sold. I sold all of them. Um, but I will be making another, I'll be making one right in the class, probably a few, but one in the class is going to go to a winner. So there will be a grand prize winner. You have to complete the bingo board, but if you complete the bingo board, which is fairly simple, six squares and your present and within the workshop, you have a chance to win one of these journals, one of the, well, the journals that I will be making. Uh, but I will show you how we're going to make the cover. It's out of canvas and put together some really fun pages, have some painted papers. We're going to do all the things. All right. And I'll show you how to put it together, a fun signature, get a journal together. And if that's not your thing, if you don't want to make a journal, but you're interested in buying one, you let me know, just send me a direct message. The six I have have been sold but I have, um, there'll be many more throughout the workshop that I'll be making. All right. Thank you so much for joining in on Art Snacks. We are still under a half an hour. We did great. Enjoy the sunflower. Remember, share it over in the free group, um, free art journaling and mixed media with Sugar Hill. I'll post that link here too for those of you that aren't in that group already. Great place to share. Today's prompt, day 19 happens to be sunflower. So there we have it, my friends. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.